How are we doing folks? Just thought I'd uh, have a go at the tank. Pretty grim inside. Um, I've already given the tank a... Washed it out with a bit of paraffin, then a bit of clean petrol. Um, then I did a solvent wash with a couple of cupfuls of boiling water and some drain cleaner. So I've kind of like got rid of all the waxes and oils on the surface of the inside of the tank. I've made my solution slightly different this time. I'm still using the uh, the famous Asda Tesco Sainsbury's Morrison's forgive me if I've not mentioned your soda crystals at £1.80 or £2 or something like back. This time I've gone for five heaped tablespoons per litre so it's a bit stronger mix and I've actually put a half a kettle full of um, boiling water in there as well see if it activates it a little bit quicker so I've got my regulated power supply I've got the negative on one of the studs on the tank it's filled nearly to the top because I think it, when they start to gas off and bubble um, it does raise the water level a little bit because obviously the air bubbles, displacement etc. So this is the one I used last time, it's just a bit of 10mm um, stud iron turned up just a bit, a bit of plastic. So that goes in. I have modified it slightly so it doesn't touch the hump inside the tank so I'm just going to get it halfway. positive onto it so let's just turn you down a bit so you can see what's going on so it's in and we're halfway obviously not touching any of the metal anywhere I've got this on full let's fire it up So 16 volts ish and uh, I think it should start fairly quickly because it's a stronger mix and um, it's already warm. So it's not drawing any amps yet. Let's just be nosy. Oh but it's bubbling already. Just put it back a second. I think it might be cooking already. So the electrolysis process is already underway that quickly. So five heaped teaspoons per litre, no, per gallon. Five heaped teaspoons per gallon. It's about a three gallon tank, this. Um, solvent wash first and a regulated power supply I mean I'm not going to but if I shorted this out on the inside of the tank it just goes open circuit so uh, it's safe so I'm going to leave it for an hour and we'll come back oh there we go we're away we're gassing off already look at the crap Excuse my French. Look at the horrible stuff that's coming out. Rust. So yeah, that was... Uh, it happens a lot quicker when it's a bit warm. So I'm not going to leave it just yet. I'll probably stay with it for the next 10 minutes or I'll be mopping the workshop floor up. But that's definitely... You can see already the rust that's lifting off even round the filler neck so we'll leave it cooking for an hour and um, we'll come back and see how it is but definitely warm and five heaped 
tablespoons per gallon, not per litre. So we'll catch her in a short while. Okay, the tanks had just over an hour and uh, done a bit of gassing off. I haven't looked at it yet, but uh, I've been mopping up as it's been gassing off and the bubbles have been forming. So uh, here we go. Just lower that down a bit. So power off. Disconnect. Oh la la, baby. Yeah, we've got a bit of growth. <laughs> got a bit of growth on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, I'll just run this over the uh, rotary wire brush. Clean all the crud off it again. But it's still warm and uh, I'll just give it another hour but just feeling the inside already before you could feel all the rough lumps you know and it feels very smooth already so on a clean off and another hour and uh, I think that'll be it. I've just done the um, fuel taps. I had to strip them down because I couldn't even get uh, I couldn't even get a drill down them. So you need a really, really super small set of circlip pliers to strip them. But they do come apart, and. Uh, that's what I found inside. So they've all been washed out and um, airlined through. So obviously that one's got the stack tube inside it, so that's reserve. And only engrave on there as well, because I forget. Uh, I'll just engrave RES on that one, on both sides of that blade. Sorry, wrong way around. The one without the stack tube, obviously is the reserve. So this one's going to stop when it gets about 30 mil off the bottom of the fuel tank. So when I've drained it um, what I'll do is I'll give it a quick wash with water, shake it out, cup of paraffin top on, give it a good shake, shake it out, cup of petrol, shake it out and I'll probably put a little bit of paraffin back in it and just line the inside with paraffin before because of, even though I said this would be the last job while I've got the um, the Lucas regulator rectifier I'm just going to quickly just convert it over to um, negative ground, get rid of that uh, regulator that's on there, disconnect the Zener, and just because I've got some LED, got an LED rear bulb for it, and I've got a H7, sorry, H4 um, headlamp bulb, and I've got a 7 inch. It's got a sealed beam unit in the moment, 55 on dip and 65 on main. A massive uh, power draw when you've only got a 10 amp alternator. And don't forget twin coils working on points. They're going to be pulling about 3 amps. So when you put the lights on and you break in and you've got the instrument lights on, it's a bit of a must be right on the edge of uh, 10 amps so I'm going to do that, it's not going to be a big job so hopefully in the next couple of days I'm just trying to make excuses not to start it aren't I 
I'll be able to give it a run and see if the engine is any good or not. So I may do a couple of bits fitting the regulator, regulator rectifier, the Lucas one, and then the, the um, negative ground conversion for the LED bulbs. So I'll catch you on the next one.